Jacob Brandon from Alive and Loud Magazine here. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I am here with Pearl. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm really well, thank you. I caught your set earlier. And, um, wow, that was awesome. Wow, that was really, thank really you good. for saying wow. That yeah. kind of makes my day. That was, uh, <laughs> this is our first festival actually with Alive and Loud, so what better way to bring this in with you? That was a really awesome way to introduce us to Park and Beyond, so thank you for that. Um, I, I wanted to ask, um, what has this week been like for you? Like getting here and like, how have you been preparing? Well, we, uh, you know, we played the official pre party last night at 4th Street Live. Yeah. Uh, so we prepared by doing that, I guess. We played an hour set last night at awesome. 9 to 10, um, which was so much fun. And then we just had to make ourselves go to bed not too late last night so we could wake up and be here.
say that my wife is super supportive. I wouldn't be able to come out to do all this stuff if it wasn't for her pushing me out the door. So, babe, if you're watching, thank you so much for that. Um, and uh, I, I wanted to say, um, this tour that you might have coming up, what could we expect from a possible headline tour, would it be? Um, I think so. Okay. It might be one of those where the switch off co headline. Co headline, yeah. yeah. Yes. I was going to say because you guys actually do deserve a headline tour with the set like that I saw earlier today and with everything I've seen online, I, I couldn't imagine you guys not being a headline act. So um, I, I guess I would say after being here and going out back to California, what would you say your favorite thing to do with downtime is? Like, Obviously family is very important, so spending time with the kids and your husband, but what do you like to do? Where do you find your peace? Like just feeling that heat and just, but also the rush. I mean, what's that like for you? Like when you step on stage and just dig right in and just start playing. How does that feel? Yeah. 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 You got it. You're there. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's all or nothing. It really is, and it's it's a great challenge. It's a huge rush and it's a great challenge and stepping out stepping out on stage you have to act like you own a place. Because the audience is looking for a leader in that moment. The audience is there to be led, to be taken to taken on a journey. And it sounds maybe cheesy, but it's true. Yeah, absolutely. You are their leader in that moment and they're looking to you to lead the show. And you gotta do that. Because you cannot, you cannot show for one split second that you're nervous. Because the audience will see that immediately and beat you up. And the audience wants to dismiss you for one second. But you can't let them. You've got to make them feel like, no, no, you're safe with me. Yeah. And really, it's really tough to myself. Yeah. I'm not I'm safe. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm safe. Absolutely. But that translates, so whatever is in your guts translates down to the audience. You know, as an audience yeah. member, you can see somebody's audience. I've been to several nervous. shows, yeah, where I've, I've seen a little maybe nervousness or they just weren't having a great day and it reflected in their performance and it was something that you just couldn't see past it even if they got over it and they were playing great. You saw that initial fear and that that's all you saw for the rest of the set. But uh, more times than not, I have seen artists that just take command of that stage and the music just take over their body and their soul and it's the most incredible thing to see. And I, I feel like that's something that people see when they see a show with you is that you're letting that music take you over and you're, you're giving that back what you have inside and you're giving it back to the fans. And I think that's something to be coveted. And I, I really appreciate that as a fan. I, I have no other questions. Um, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to Alive and Loud magazine. And good luck on everything. You know, you deserve it. I appreciate your time. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you.